Hey guys, this is Dale. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to talk about this quick workshop I did this week with um, high school students around personal branding. Usually when I get booked to do this workshop, it's usually for college students or um, recently graduated students. So this was really cool to work with high school students around personal branding and designing the elements that allows you to be able to showcase your talent and skills. So this was a great, great opportunity. So going into it, I thought one of the main focus is to help the students identify uh, what are they passionate about and how does their skills and talent aligns with it. So we did a bunch of exercise. One of the things that was interested, when we started to talk about skills, um, a lot of the students, they were a little bit um, standoff regarding taking ownership of the skills and the talents that they're good at. One of the things that came up is they felt like um, in order to validate their 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 academic skills, uh, the teachers had to be the drivers of it. So we had a great conversation around um, learning through how-to videos. Um, and almost all the students admitted that yeah, they, they go on YouTube and learn how to do stuff themselves. And I asked them, I said, hey, you know, those are valuable skills that you've learned. Tell me some of the stuff that you've learned. So they, they, they told me different things that they've learned by themselves. And I said, hey, that differentiate you, the ability that you have to actually go out and self-teach yourself something. And then now you have these skills and knowledge that you've acquired that you can show. So one of the other things that we talked about is uh, most of the times, you know, in order to foster your personal brand, sometimes you have to wait for um, other people to, to, to give you opportunities in order for you to implement it. We talked a lot about creating your own opportunity. So meaning if you're passionate about this and you have the skills, why don't you start creating your own thing? And then once you start learning from that experience, you have a way of packaging in order to say, hey, here's what I've done and here's the benefit of it. And then the other thing that we talked about was being able to identify the needs and problems of um, your community. So virtually and also physically. And then identifying how do you position yourself, your own personal brand, and what you have to offer in order to solve those skills. So for you today, as you reflect on your personal brand, it's important to make sure that you're touching, you're breathing, and you're experiencing with the skills that you have beyond um, just waiting for an opportunity. You creating those opportunities for yourself. And then once you start learning from it, now you can start packaging and figuring out, okay, how can I package the skills that I have and the talent that I have um, based on the needs and the problems that are around me where I know that I can bring um, my experiences in order to solve it. So as you think of your personal brand, think about it more than just selling and marketing it. Think about it more from acquiring it from the experiences and the opportunities that you create for yourself in order to engage in those skills. So happy Thursday, persevere to excel, go get it. Bow!